Hello all, welcome to Sarachandra IS Academy. Let us discuss important economic curves. The first one is Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve is graphical representation of income inequalities or wealth inequality. The graph plots percentiles of population on the horizontal axis according to the income or wealth. So when you see Lorentz curve on the horizontal axis you will have cumulative percent of population and to the vertical axis you will have cumulative portion of income. Next one is Laffer curve. Laffer curve is a theory that states lower rate tax rates boost economic growth. The Laffer curve describes how changes in the tax rates affects government revenues. So when you see the Laffer curve uh, on the x-axis you can see tax rate and on the y-axis you can see total tax revenue collected. So one is immediate which Laffer describes as arithmetic. Every dollar in tax cuts translates directly to one less dollar in the government revenue. The other effect is long term which Laffer describes as economic effect. It works in the opposite direction. Lower tax rates put money into the hands of tax players who then spend it. It creates more business to meet consumer demand. The next one is Angel Curve. The, it displays how household expenditure on particular goods or services varies with changes in the household income. For example, as income of household increases, its expenditure of food as a percentage decreases. However, its expenditure on status goods increases. The status goods like luxurious cars, luxurious buildings. So the next one is Kuznets curve. It shows the relation between economic growth and income inequality. It is inverted U-shape meaning that in as initially economic growth leads to greater inequality followed later by the reduction in the inequality. So we can see this curve in the graph here. It is inverted U-shape. Next one is Phillips curve. Phillips curve is an economic concept developed by A.W. Phillips stating that inflation and unemployment have a stable and an inverse relationship. So you can say that as inflation increases, unemployment decreases. The theory claims that with economic growth comes inflation, which in turn should lead to more jobs or less unemployment. Next one is Rahan curve. It displays the relation between government spending and GDP growth rate of the economy. It is an inverted U-shaped thus displaying there is a level of government spending at which economic growth theoretically maximizes. So on the x-axis you can see size of the government on to the y-axis you can see economic performance. Thank you. Keep watching Sarachandra IAS Academy.